Hello everybody and welcome to a introduction video of my channel. This is going to be like a small introduction video, no cuts, no everything. It's just going to be small, just a small bit so you guys know me and the basic questions you ask anymore if you see me streaming, if the stream is getting more popular or something else. Um, so yeah, so let's start at, 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 at the first question though, where most likely um, a lot of people will ask and they are not seeing directly in the bio because I removed it because I stream games on my channel and teammates uh, most likely go to your stream and check out what game to troll with you but like let's start with it with, with that though um yeah who am i uh, my name is adrian um i live in the netherlands and yeah i'm i'm 30 years old as the point of recording this video i'm a father of one and i'm not married but i have a girlfriend for around 11 years so yeah that's more or less who I am. Um, yeah, what am I doing on YouTube? That's a great question though, because I really didn't know the answer to that like until a few days ago, because this YouTube channel is already almost 10 years old, maybe 12 years old. I don't know exactly the date I created it, but I created it to make Minecraft content. I, I did pretty good though, on that time though, Dutch, Dutch Minecraft content. We had a series in the Netherlands that um, was called uh, The Kingdom. It's pretty good view though. I had a pretty decent amount of subscribers at that point. And yeah, then like work came and uh, normal work and the normal work just pulled me out the YouTube content. At that point, I went from zero to 2,500 subscribers in around a month. Um, having um, on different YouTube channels though, a music uh, video for a game on Minecraft with in total, I guess still now around a million views. And yeah, that's, that's definitely what I did on YouTube then. But now I did like YouTube videos across the time, making, making music and doing some other content. But it wasn't me, like um, it was me before uh, my ADH medica me medication. I have ADHD, by the way, so <laughs> so you know that. And yeah, I really didn't know what to do on YouTube. But now I know. Um, so yeah, what am I doing on YouTube right now? Is like the quick answer is like of gaming. So I do like Apex, Rocket League, uh, uh, Wayfinder. Um, in a few days, I hope X Defiant, and then in a few months, I guess the open bait of CSGO. But like, I will do various of games um, on YouTube as well. And a daily promise to myself, and I hope you guys will help me to get that promise. Put him here. And then he will shut up. So yeah, um, that you will hear on stream, n that you won't hear on stream because I have a noise gate on that's really not hearable at all. But now it's hearable. Um, but yeah, now I have it on. now laying on my legs. So a little bit of disruption of the video, but I'm sorry about that. That's why I'm doing this uncut so you can see my daily life. Like he's now going away again and he's gonna make sounds again. But yeah, uh, but what am I now doing on YouTube is like gaming and a daily promise for myself is to make daily YouTube content on game development. At least four hours a day. Start streaming, um, I hope around 12. I will try to make myself a schedule. But I can't promise the 12 o'clock, but I will promise a four hour stream. And that's going to be Monday to Friday. That's the days I'm streaming with gaming, game creation content. And then on Saturday, it's completely gaming. And on Sunday, it's my day off for streaming. I'm not streaming at all. Then. So that's a little bit my schedule too on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do on YouTube. Um, this is going to be probably a question on, uh, on the streams also. I'm, I'm also streaming right now, um, making this video. So content is content, right? So if I get, if there is, I will answer them in this video. But the next question will probably be, how did you learn game development? Did you go to school for game development? And the answer for the second question is no, I didn't go to school and everything I've learned is from YouTube, Google and everything. 
in the meanwhile that I'm creating this game, there will be separate timings and moments that I'm just Googling stuff, YouTubing stuff to see what did I wrong or if I need to learn something. new. The same as now, I need to do something that I totally forgot how to do it. I need to Google that. And that will be in the stream to see how I failed to remember that because I had a two months vacation of game development. And I have a brain like a goldfish, so I forget stuff a little bit quicker. And that's why the daily promise of four hours to get that stuff in my mind daily. So push it out, to push it out and push it out. Um, so yeah, I learned game development all by my own. Um, the last question, I think, no, I have two more questions here. So you guys already know that. Uh, what do I wish to accomplish with game development? With this project, this is going to be my first ever released game. Um, if, 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 if it's free on my own platform that I'm making or it's on Steam for just 5 to 10 bucks, it's going to be a cheap ass game. But it's not going to be a cheap ass game like content. It's going to be something it needs to be flowing in content. So that's what I want to accomplish with game development to release my own games. And the, the total accomplishment would be if I can build my own first person shooter in the future. And uh, talking about five to six years, but that's the goal to build a first person shooter that the community wants, needs, and don't have anymore. Um, again, about the gaming stuff, the X Defiant, that's the part that all the shooter fans are waiting for. And we are waiting um, with love for that, but like, I don't have hope for it. And that's because like, game developers are not in touch anymore. The, um, the things we want in game. Um, yeah. Last question though is what I wrote, what I think is like people sh would ask and probably should ask, why do I stream my game development uh, process? Don't you want an NDA or something else with it? The reason is I'm a indie developer. developer. I'm a solo developer and hopefully with the, the 3D, 3D artistness and thoughts of, of my girlfriend um, and she's learning a little bit of Blender and with a little bit of help, I hope from her that she can make the models and everything else. Um, I'm an indie developer again, and this company um, is called Dragon 3D Interactive. And why I'm streaming this is because every game, new indie developer game, uh, game uh, designer needs publishment, right? And what isn't bad? What is the better way to get in touch with your community that's probably going to play your game is to build it with your community so if they see a mistake in the game that they think it's going to be game breaking or just stupid to add they can just say it and we can make a poll on youtube and then we can just say okay fuck it we're going to scrap it or we're going to edit it or we're going to do this or we're going to do that but that's the part of I want to work with the community to build the game that the people that are playing this genre at the moment, what I'm going to build, that's going to be in video two, where we're going to talk about that though. But like with the community, that's why I want to build this on stream without an NDA. When I have full knowledge and I'm going to build a battle, a small battle royale game or a first person shooter or a racing game that I think that's going to be millions of sales or whatsoever. And I think this is going to be the best idea of my life and I have a full team working on it. Yes. There will be NDAs, but there will be like weekly streams of that too. How we build it, what we're doing, what do you think about this, what do you think about that. That's like the promise that I want to give to my community and to stream that every time. There will be maybe, there, there's a possibility there will be a change of YouTube channel in the future to Dragon 3D Interact YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to create that and then stream on that though if we have more people working on it. And maybe do separate streams though, maybe a 3D artist stream, a developer stream, a coder stream and everything. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's like all the questions that I, I could have think about. I have one more question though for myself. And, and this is probably a question that's going to be answered, asked by like other game developers. Why don't you use C, plus, C sharp or C, C++ with Unreal Engine? The truth be told is I didn't learn that a lot yet. I know Lua scripting. It's a little bit the same as C Sharp, C++. How do you want to call it? I, I call it like one of, of both. I know it's different, but I call it both. Um, 
But my knowledge of that is not like big enough. So this game is going to be completely built on blueprint. Um, uh, blueprints, blueprints are getting up there. Like you don't need it anymore. Um, and I think in the future when I'm on that point that I want to create a first person shooter. Codes are just like stupid to use and it's slower to use because the blueprints are getting so quick and fast in Unreal Engine. So yeah, um, if you have separate, separate sep uh, different questions, just ask them in chat, in the comments. Like why do you use Unreal Engine above Unity or other um, game development programs? You can answer them all. Um, give me your input. Uh, what do you want to see on the channel? Beside of this game development project, do you want me to do challenges, small projects, small videos about like, hey, like, can we make this game in a few hours or this in a few hours? Challenge videos or like game development videos. That. And let me know what games you want me to play in the future. And let's see if we can make that happen. That's everything for this video. Um, it's already like a video of 11 minutes long enough and I want to say thank you all if you like the video just like it If you disliked it, tell me why though so I can change it in this video It's gonna be probably you talk too much. We hear enough sounds in the background. I know brother. I know You want me to edit these kinds of videos in the future? I can do it too because I have a very cool software now That's free on Microsoft and it's pretty awesome to use though um, So yeah Take care for watching and I will see you in the next video and that's talking about this game later boys and girls bye bye